Hello, I'm uh, Didier Stevens, a senior handler with the Internet Storm Center. And in this video, I'm going to do uh, another analysis of a malicious document, malicious uh, Word document. So with Oli Dump, this is the document. It contains macros here in stream 8 and 9. Hmm. So I select stream 8 and I decompress the macros. Okay, and here we see a shell and here string concatenation. And so that is the command. Also here uh, with a, a C uh, variable. And that's about it. So uh, all those variables here, and they are probably not defined here, but in the other stream, stream nine. So let's take a look. And indeed here we can see uh, a lot of concatenation of uh, variables and, uh, and strings that look meaningless. Mm -hmm. but, but if we take a closer look here, we can see set. Set stf equals e at ht. And then here another set and another set and so on. Also, we see uh, CHRs, uh, so C string, CHR, value 99, and here another one, value 109, that is also concatenated, uh, together with a lot of set commands. Let's go to the bottom. Okay, and here now we can see a lot of percent percent. So when you see this, uh, this is very likely uh, a dosfuscation uh, string. So a string that is uh, interpreted by the command line the interpreter cmd.exe, and but uh, who uses uh, dos command uh, variables that are uh, concatenated to to form a command. It's a part of a research that. Uh, Daniel uh, Bohannon did uh, about uh, DOS fuscation, and this is probably here uh, DOS uh, concatenation. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to extract all the strings in this stream nine with my tool uh, research. Eh? So I'm going to use the regular expression to find any string that is not empty and uh, with uh, delim delimited by double quotes. Okay, and here you can see uh, we have a lot of them. And here, if you take a closer look, you can see ampersand, ampersand, C-A-L-L. -L. So that's actually a call to the content of this variable. And here you can see uh, a lot of other strings. Let's scroll up. And here you can see a set of that variable. So this is uh, indeed very likely uh, a dosfuscated uh, string. So what I'm going to do is try to join uh, these together and, and see what we end up with. Now, before I do that, before uh, I concatenate it, I want to look uh, at the strings slightly different. I want also to see empty strings because as we saw we in the dump we have also a couple of empty strings and I want the unquoted string so I want to remove the, the double quotes that delimit uh, the string like this. So that's uh, the regular expression I have for that and here now I have uh, the strings that I want and now I want to concatenate this and that I'm going to do with my set command it's a simple tool that works on sets. Uh, and what we are going to do here is all the variables, uh, all the strings that are considered as a set, we are going to concatenate them, join them together, and the separator is just uh, an empty string, like this. Mm -hmm. And here uh, now you can see uh, something that looks indeed like a uh, dosfuscated uh, dos command uh, using uh, concatenation, because you see a lot of set commands here, 
and then here a set of a variable with a long uh, string of instantiated variables and then a call to that uh, instantiated variable. And if you take a close look here, you can see net.web and also here, yeah, p colon slash slash like yeah, HTTP. So yeah, that's probably a, a script here that is uh, dosfiscated. Now uh, I wrote a, a small tool to help me uh, do this, but what you actually want to do is look up all the definitions of set. Eh? Set here you have one set ve equals i, and eh? so ve equals i, and then somewhere here you will find percent ve percent, and that is replaced by i. So for that uh, I wrote a small tool instantiation. And it's a, a generic tool. It's not specific for dosfuscation because the assignment and instantiation uh, expressions, they, they can be defined by a regular expression. Eh? And by default, there are regular expressions in here for uh, DOS commands. So I'm going to pipe this output into instantiation. And then indeed, as you can see here, I have a PowerShell command with new web client and indeed URLs to download. Here, URLs, then I should see a download somewhere here, download file, and then start process to execute. Now, if you take a close look here, you will see that uh, there are some problems here. For example, this is start proof and not process, the C is uh, missing. And also here, ATH, this is actually a try catch so uh, the letter C uh, is missing. And remember that we had uh, CHR commands in there, and 99 and 109. So let's take a look with Python. CHR, 99, that's a lowercase letter C, and CHR, 109, that's a lowercase letter M. So those are actually uh, some of the letters we are missing here. Eh? Like here you should see co.uk, we don't see that. Hmm? So that's uh, missing. So it's probably that we have to uh, include these. And I'm going to use a simple trick for that. It's the following. Before I extract the strings, I'm going to replace 99 with a string for the letter C. So I will use the stream editor. And I'm going to substitute space 99 space, eh? because uh, we saw that it was uh, surrounded by spaces in those uh, CHR commands. And I'm going to replace this with the letter C. Now, if I do that like this, eh, I have to escape the quotes here like this. And then I can pipe this to our research. And then indeed here, now you can see start process and catch. So, so this is working. And now I also have the letter M because here you can see that co.br eh? in Brazil is actually com, not co like in UK, but com. So we are missing the letter M. So I can just do exactly the same command here. like this, but for the letter M. So lowercase letter M, 109. Like this. And here, uh, now I can see that it um, so Actually, it's actually Tatim, you see. So it's important to, to find that letter M because uh, the, the URL here is, uh, the domain name is different. So that is uh, how you can use uh, this uh, tool. I, I will set it up uh, on my beta GitHub uh, repository because uh, I don't know what I'm going to do with this tool, what direction it is uh, going to go into, uh, but uh, that's why it will end up uh, in my uh, beta GitHub repository.